Hey students, welcome to the video. So today we have come up with the solution of the question that I asked you. So given 2112 minus a, a minus 2120 is equals to 11, then find the value of a minus 2112 whole square plus a minus 2120 whole square. What is that going to be? Now when you come across questions like this, first you just observe the data that is given. So 2112 minus a, right? And here it's a minus 2112. Just opposite of this. Only signs are reversed, right? And here it's a minus 2120. This is also a minus 2120. So to make it simple, what we can do is, let's first assume that 2112 minus a, let's assume this as x. And this a minus 2120, let's assume this as y. So I can say one thing. From here, x, y is going to be equals to 11. Let's mark this as equation number 1. Now, what is question asking? Question is asking us to find out the value of this. So, this is nothing. It is just opposite of this. If I take minus sign common from here, what is this going to be? If I take minus sign common from here, again, if you take minus sign common, the signs inside the bracket changes. So, that means this 2112, which is negative, I mean, which is positive here, that becomes negative and this becomes positive. That's going to be A minus 2112, right? So, simply I can say, I can say that this is basically nothing, but that's minus of x square. And this is actually plus y square. And minus of x square is nothing but that's x square plus y square. You have just have to find out the value of this. Okay. So if you try to relate this, this and this, if you see, this comes in one identity, which is basically x plus y whole square. That's going to be equals to x square plus y square plus 2xy. Right? Now let's simply put the values here. But if you see, we have the value of xy. I do not have x square and y square. That we actually need to find out. Let's first find out x plus y. What is x here? x is this, y is this. Let's put it here. We have 2112 minus a and this is a minus 2120. What is this going to be? So this over here will get cancelled out and 2112 minus 2120. That's nothing, but that's actually going to be equals to minus 8. So we have this value. Now, all we need to do is, we have got the value of x plus 8, that's going to be minus 8. Let's put it here in the equation, that is x plus y whole square equals to x square plus y square plus 2xy. Let's put everything here, whatever values we have. So simply, we have x plus y, that's minus 8 whole square. This we need, we need to find out x square plus y square and we already have xy, that was 11. This we got in the previous slide. So this is going to be 64 equals to x square plus y square plus 22. Let's take 22 to the other side. We have x square plus y square equals to 64 minus 22. That's going to be equals to what? This is going to be equals to 42 and that's our value for this. See, initially this question looks so tricky, but we solved it so simply. All we did was we just assumed it. We used the basic algebraic identity to find this out. Nothing new, right? Now, you can also try out questions like this and leave a comment for me in the comment section. How you like this question? 